it's finally here Google Pixel 6 Pro this is a front-facing camera shooting 4k at the moment this is the sound that's coming from I will be doing some vlogging uh, check some camera features so make sure you stick around let's go <laughs> on this phone uh, you got also 1080p 60 frames per second uh, available uh, so yeah happy days I'm gonna take some selfies now and then I'm gonna take my dogs for a walk and uh, make sure I will show you some of the features I really like and video stability etc let's go Okay, I'm just gonna check on the focus. Yeah, no surprise, the ultra wide angle is fixed focus, so you cannot really do much about it. It will just be there like this. Well, let's switch to the main sensor, and you can see the difference. And I'm gonna say to you to be happy. And again, yeah, it's pretty fast. Brilliant, what I love about this, and this is times two, look at that, look at the Evoca. Beautiful. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's brilliant that you can switch between the lenses during recording. And that was only available on Samsung, but I'm glad Pixel got this uh, as well. Love it. Let's go to Ultra Wide Angle and kick the ball. I'm going to check uh, stabilization now. This is Ultra Wide Angle 4K, 30 frames per second. Sadly, 60 frames per second isn't available on 4K here. But yeah, look at the colors. Pixel is really good with dynamic range. And look at the colors. Not bad at all. Let me do a little runner. Yeah. Times one. Main sensor. There's my dog Nelly. Okay, times two, I absolutely love telephoto lens which wasn't available on regular Pixel 6, but here, yeah, it's brilliant, look at that, it can even go times four, and this is optical zoom oh i've got a job to do now i have to show you this guys i was in the park with my children uh, and they were running around so i was taking loads of pictures in different modes times two times one different lenses and you know what all the pictures were really really sharp i think nine out of ten pictures were super sharp not even one i think one was blurry but all of that amazing check this out This is times 20 zoom and this is ultra wide angle. Wow, to be honest, I'm really impressed because most of the phones can only go up to times 10. That's times 10. Look at the quality. Wow, really nice. And that's 20. I'm very impressed to be honest. Okay, so this is 4K 60 frames per second on main sensor. What do you think? I have to say, I really like this phone. Yes, it doesn't have the uh, fastest performance, 
but it has really nice telephoto camera, ultra wide angle, not bad features. I wish there was more additional features available such as uh, dual mode video, uh, vlogging options, portrait video modes, etc. Uh, there's not even pro video mode. Uh, so, but yeah, other than that, happy days. Oh, by the way, today was uh, my son's sports day and I was the fastest parent, hey? You see, that's why you need the telephoto lens because I was zooming in to be able to get some nice pictures of my son because you cannot always get very close. So if you're a parent looking for phone, you should be quite happy with the Pixel 6 Pro. And guys, look how quick the autofocus is. I'm switching between the leaves. Bow. Back into this one. Wow. See what Google phones do is amazing about the software. How they optimize all this, this is incredible. about portrait photography and you know what this is one of my favorite phones in terms of uh, portrait photography vivo x70 pro is actually better but in my opinion this is second i think even better than samsung galaxy s22 ultra but let's have a look at some results <laughs> What's pretty cool how quickly you can switch between slow motion and time lapse and normal video uh, and the quality on the slow motion is pretty good too. Right, selfie camera at night. 4K and surprisingly the quality is decent even on a selfie. Okay. Not bad at all. Well, let's move on to uh, rear cameras now. This is ultra wide angle. Times one, and you can clearly see the difference. Wow, okay. Times two. Wow, no, that's looking good. I'm really pleased with that. And times four. Local pop. I think they have some party there, live bound or something, not bad. Right, I'm going to take some pictures now, I'm going to take some pictures now. I was really impressed with Pixel 6 when I tested it last year, so I've got the feeling uh, the Pixel 6 Pro is going to be even better. Let's go. I'm using one of the uh, video stabilization now. This is the active one. So I believe if I do some running, it uh, should be pretty good. 
sadly this isn't available on ultra wide angle so I'm, I'm definitely cropped in so you cannot see my face really well but I have to say Pixel 6 Pro is one of my favorite devices. I have to say because now this phone is a lot cheaper as well you can get it for around three uh, 630 pounds which I think it's a really great value for money uh, would I recommend this over the uh, regular 6 definitely because of the uh, 4k selfie camera 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate on uh, display and definitely the telephoto camera however if you would like to check uh, my full camera review of Google 6 go and click up here hope you enjoyed this episode please let me know your thoughts about this device and I'll catch you in the next one cheers